episode of Friends Food and Fun. My name is Brian Upward, and I'm joined here with my fabulous partner in cooking. She's the uh, chef's sidekick. Mm -hmm. We have Halenka. Good evening to you, Halenka. Hello, Brian. A fantastic meal prepared, or actually ready to be be prepared by yes. us. You know, I was going to say to you today that one of the things I like is doing very fast and easy meals. Mm -hmm. And I think today's meal is going to be no exception to that. Good. So to that point, tell our folks at home what we're having today. Well, we are having grilled flank steak with chimichurri. So we're going to make a version that's in the book. Plus, I have a bottle of authentic chimichurri from Argentina, which we're going to use as a comparison yes. to see how it compares to something that's officially been made in Argentina. So yes. Which is a fabulous fantastic. idea. Absolutely. Why don't you heat the grill? I will heat the grill. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to put the, I've been learning how to use this grill. So I'm mm -hmm. going to keep it on medium. We're yeah. going to make chimichurri sauce, yes. a version of it. Yes. What do we need for chimichurri? Well, we need a quarter cup red wine vinegar. Okay. So I'm using a nice red wine vinegar here. Mm -hmm. So a bowl. Okay. So a quarter cup of red wine vinegar. Okay. That's done. Three tablespoons of water. Okay. Which is new. We almost never put water in our never. food. So I'm just going to use tap water. Carefully. So. Now this is going to be a garlic dishes dish. Oh! Yes. Did someone say Gar garlic? Well, you're prepared. Look at this. This is like, you know, okay. We've said before in this show that we love garlic and I meant it. Look. Yes. Yes. This is all for tonight. Yes. No, it's not. Oh. We only need four take. Well, we need the equivalent of four cloves of garlic. Okay. So, uh, according to this, I think it said uh, half a teaspoon equals a clove. That's okay. not a clove. That's not a clove. <laughs> so, put in four teaspoons. This is a clove. <laughs> okay, yes. So, one. I, could, I, I think I'm going to cut back a little bit. Okay, so. <laughs> Only because you don't cook this one, so. Okay, so two. So two, yeah. Okay. So we're done. Yeah. Yeah, well, there's a point in time to be crazy. We are crazy, that's for sure. <laughs> but I'm not going to go overboard. Okay. Okay. Uh, salt and coarsely uh, now, ground how, black pepper. How much pepper. salt? Well, we're going to need a teaspoon, a teaspoon of salt. salt. This is um, sea salt that yes. I got in here. Yes, it's just so, an, a, a fine... Uh, a fine grain. And I like to use this for cooking and baking. A teaspoon. Yes. All right. And uh, about the same amount of black pepper, okay. which you were going to eyeball. We're going to eyeball, eyeball that one. Yes. I like fresh green pepper. This takes a few times. That is one teaspoon. Okay. Probably about 10 rounds, I think. We need a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Oh, so yes. we're getting some hotness in here. Yes. But it's still a discreet hotness. Mm -hmm. I love this. Okay. That's done. And you're going to whisk in a quarter cup of olive oil. Okay. So I better pour the olive oil first. Where did I put that? There it is. Yes. Quarter cup of olive oil. So we're going to whisk it in. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's the quarter cup. Get whisk going. There's our whisk. It's mixed quite a bit. That's good. We're going to like it. it. It's going to soak into the steak. Ooh. Put anything else in? Yes, you have to chop the parsley now. Parsley, so I'm going to yes. put that there. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have a sniff. Sure. So i got mm. some lovely parsley here. How much parsley do you have? A cup. A cup. So that's going to be, that's going to be a lot of parsley. That's going to be a lot of parsley. That, this is going to be a very fresh dish. Yes. So I've rinsed this already. I'm just going to cut the leave things off here. It's going to be good there. So once you cut it down, we'll take a look at that. Okay. All right. So, I do have somewhat of a technique to do this. It's kind of like rolling it up into a little, I, I little thought ball, you were rolling it? it, yes. Yeah, and then you just you know, cut it like this. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got to put the whole thing in and then... Yes, we are. We're up. going to... Uh, wow, look at this. Yes. So you're going to use the whisk. Ooh. Pause for effect. Waste not, want not. Okay, so I'm going to whisk this in. Yes. Oh, it transformed. You mean paste like thing. Wow. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yes. 
And I love green taste like uh, mm, get that herbs. Over the smell. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is very fresh. And already the garlic has been overtaken by the freshness of the parsley. The parsley. Well, I guess we have to do this. Yes. Steak. You're going. We're going to season the steak with salt and pepper. Okay. And I was thinking we should use the Bolivian rose. Oh, we haven't used the salt chest in a while. No. Okay. So I'll go get the uh, the chest first. Okay. Right. Oh. Um, Brian. We have a problem. What's he doing here? Are you trying to sell me out again? Well. Brian. <laughs> Brian, get rid of him. Or, or else, well, okay, we're using regular salt and pepper. <laughs> I don't think I can take the, the trauma. The alien is back. Yeah. And okay. wedged quite nicely against the it salt is. chest. So, okay, well, we have, Ooh. We have regular salt. So yes. I guess we'll have to use that. Now, the recipe called for flank steak, but we're using... Top sirloin. Oh, right. Trip. Filet. Yay! Okay, so I have to season both sides. Mm -hmm. Flipper. Flipper over. Use as much or as little salt as you want. Palenka and I, well, we should admit this, but we have a salt chest. Hello. What can we say? What can we say about that? We love salt. But it doesn't mean we go overboard. No, no, that's true. Yes. I mean, I do sometimes. Okay, yes. now I, I guess we're cooking this. Three to four minutes each side for medium rare. Oh, What's your famous word? I love the, the sound, sound of sizzle. Me too. Three to four minutes? Yes. We'll do four. Okay. And then we'll flip it and do three. Oh, I forgot about these things. Well, that's why you have me around here. They're orgasmic. I don't think so. They are about Okay, well, it's O R G A. Mick. Uh, is Mick. <laughs> no, organics. Oh. But it's okay. We can think they're orgasmic anyway. Because we both love scallions also. They're orgasmic. <laughs> Cut the ends off. Yes. And whatever at the bottom, if there's anything that looks a little limp. Oh, so we have to give them a good trim. Okay, and leave the rest. days for soup. Yes, or salads or, or salads or I mean, we know salads, don't we? Uh, oh, I forgot just to show you. I have tortillas, and these are chipotle and red pepper whole grain. Ooh. Oh, so it's going to be on the spicy side, so these are fantastic yes. to have. And, oh, pinto beans you can serve with it too. Yes. So I was thinking, like, okay, what do you do with pinto beans, right? Mm -hmm. um, do you just heat them up? Yeah. Well, like so you can add stuff to them. Is that yes. boring to me? Yes. So I'm creating something that I yes. have. Yes, pretty good by me. So we need, oh, here we go. These are the pinto beans. And the kitchen pixies were kind enough to take the top off. Yep. Yeah. But they need rinse to be rinsed. Cold water. Mm -hmm. No, my side dish, pinto beans. Oh, they're good. With yeah. um, a, a grape tomatoes, grape tomatoes and, and cumin. cumin and garlic. And we're going to put a little bit of oil in a pan here. And the steak is smelling 95. It is. Yes. Aha, looks good. Another three minutes. Three minutes on that one. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to start the cooking of my little side dish. Mm -hmm. So we've got that. We're going to toss in some. We love these ones. These ones are, these are local too, they're Ontario. Oh, good. The scallions should go on the, with the steak right now. Okay. And when you remove the meat, the scallions should still stay on for a little longer. So while the steak is resting. I think I started on this one. Mm -hmm. So we need, I think it's in my head. And what did your head tell you? That it's a teaspoon of cumin. Mm -hmm. A little extra falls in, you're okay, right? Have I ever said no to a little extra? <laughs> Some garlic. Mm -hmm. So I love having this. Now this one we are cooking, so. Mm -hmm. Ah, perfecto the timing. steak is ready. The steak is ready. Okay, so 
we're going to leave the steak here to mm -hmm. rest before I curve. I'll just stare at it. Mm -hmm. You can smell it too, okay? Mm. I'm going to start moving some of these scallions over. Mm -hmm. Do beans now to my. Did you put the tomatoes in? Fabulous. Oh, yeah, they've been cooking here. Okay. A fabulous side dish. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add in some salt and pepper. Okay. I am really getting the sugar. Can't wait. This, this is good. Maybe salt. And then stir. Now I have. To uh, turn my scallions. Or look at this. I mean, why don't you cut each each portion off? Delish. Here. Yeah. <laughs> They'd be shocked. It's very rare. <laughs> yep. No, that's okay. I like rare. That's why they say you do three to four minutes per side. And yeah. also, for reheating, if you want to, then it'll get a little bit more cooking. Next but thing we do is we're going to take this. Lovely scallions or green onions, as the case may be. Put those on the dish as well. Mm -hmm. These look divine. Yeah, they do. Indeed. Indeed, 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 indeed. So we can. I'm going to assemble one. All right. For everyone. Mm -hmm. Let me turn this off. Here we have our lovely pinto beans with tomato, mm -hmm. cumin, garlic, salt and pepper, and a little bit of olive oil. Chipotle and red pepper whole grain tortilla. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to serve it flat. The meat first, so we'll do a rare piece of meat. Rare. And then a couple of mm -hmm. not so rare. And we'll take a cup of scallion or two. Yes. I'll artfully place it there. <laughs> and then next up we have our beans. And I thought what I would do is pour the chimichurri sauce over everything. That would be interesting. It always is in Brian's kitchen. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so then we take the chimichurri. <gasps> Here, you get to be the taste tester. Okay. The time is ticking. It's fascinating, though, because what we consider to be a strong taste is less because of the beans. Oh, yeah? Because they're the neutral... Uh, the neutral ground in this? Yes. But the, the beans and the chimichurri sauce are fabulous together. Excellent. Yes. So, we'll have to... to um, you know what? We'll have to figure out... We have is, this. Or maybe what we can do is we can dip individual pieces of meat. Very good idea. So here's, here's the yes. official chimichurri sauce. Much different. Okay. okay so I'm just Give that a smell first. It's different. Much different. Much different than what we've made. Yeah. Now, of course, mine's made fresh, whereas this is from a bottle, so. Night and day? Mm hmm. Mm. Yours is amazing. Mm. I don't know. Yeah. Yours is so much better. I think it's because the parsley is fresh. And also, a, mm. a, a, it takes up more space, okay. whereas that has been processed a lot more. So I think the moral of the story is, make it yourself. Yes. Even yeah. if it says it comes from, from the old country. Argentina. So. Yes. Okay. Well, that's a good experiment. Yes. <laughs> to realize that. Okay. Well, thank you very much again for watching another episode with myself and my friend, Helenka. I hope you've enjoyed watching us create this. Mm -hmm. We do this as much as for us as it is for, for yourselves as well. For more episodes and my blog, please visit my website at brianupward.com. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you again real soon. Take care. Bye-bye for now. Cheers. Bye -bye.